I, I think it is it's important to see that Mr. Assange had a credible fear from the beginning to be extradited to the U.S. and to be exposed to cruel, inhuman, and degrading treatment there. But once we recognize that he had this credible fear, obviously he would not expose himself to, this, to a situation where he could be extradited to the U.S. So we have to know that Sweden has had a history uh, of surrendering people to the CIA without any due process from Sweden. So Assange had a, 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 a credible fear that this could happen to him. And so he asked Sweden to guarantee that they would not extradite him to the U.S. if he came for questioning on the sexual offense cases. Sweden consistently refused to give this guarantee. Then Assange said, well, I'm not going to come to Sweden if you can't guarantee that, but I'm going to be at your disposal for questioning through video link, which Sweden refused, although they practiced this in multiple other, ca other cases at the same time. And Assange said, well, if you want, don't want to question me through video link, you can come to London and question me here um, in the presence of my lawyer. And the, the Sweden again refused to do that and insisted on having him extradited to Sweden and without a guarantee on, uh, against further extradition to the U.S. Well, he has, of course, offered to be interviewed here by Swedish authorities, but when they acquiesced to that suggestion, he changed his mind. Are you, are, are you not aware of that? The Swedish prosecutor did not want to interview him in the embassy. And even the Swedish judge criticized the Swedish prosecutor for the same.